welcome 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 back to my channel guys today i will show you how to make a simple but yet delicious crab salad for your thanksgiving that's coming up soon guys um, i have my water boiling i'm going to go ahead and get our pasta cooked i'm going to go ahead and chop the celery the onion and shred the crab and then i'll come back and show you how i put this delicious salad together guys i'm going to go ahead and just chop my onions all right guys you cut it up not too small not too big my celery guys I rinsed them off already what I'm gonna do is cut it in half because celery you do not want it too big I'm gonna cut in another half This one looks kind of big, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this one in another half. And as you can see guys, I'm wearing a glove because these are items that I will not be cooking and because I am not going to cook them, I want to make sure you have on your gloves. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want them too big. This is a perfect size. I think one will be enough. So what I will go ahead and do now, guys, go ahead and cut them in a half. Like that. And I'm gonna kind of shred them like this, guys. Okay? You just wanna shred them into big pieces like that. Okay? You can shred it with your hands or, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. I'm going to show you another way. You can also just use a fork just to kind of separate them. Because I don't want to cut them. I want it to be like shredded pieces. Okay. Like that. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put our salad together. But before, uh, here's my pasta, guys. It's nice and cool. I went ahead and used the mini penne pasta. Guys, the brand does not matter because I use all different type of brands. As long as um, the pasta is not a big, fat, fat one. So you'll be fine okay to our bowl here I will add I have some um, sour cream I just measure just a little bit um, if I need more I just go ahead and add more I have some sugar and I have some salt I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there like that I'm make a quick sauce for our salad I have just plain old white vinegar. I'm just gonna put the top, I'm gonna fold the top like that and add it in. I do not have a set measurement, guys. I'm just going by whatever, by looking at my pasta and just kind of estimating um, what I believe would be enough. Add some mayo. Maybe just a little bit more because we don't want to add too much mayo. That should be good. And 
this is the mayo I'm using, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just give this a mix. And this would be our delicious, as I almost forgot to add my black pepper. But instead of black pepper, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just add these um, uh, peppercorn. Go ahead, some, get a nice amount on there. So once, that should be good. All right, this is our delicious dressing that we're going to put in our salad. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh -oh, I have some water. These are just regular frozen beans. Don't want to put too much of it in there. Let me see. I bite just a handful more and that should be enough. And with my onions, I'm going to go ahead and see if we need more. Yeah. I like onions, so this is fine. Celery, you do not want to put too much celery in there. I personally don't like celery that much. So I'm going to add just a little bit of celery. And then we're going to go ahead and add our crabs. And the crab is the star of your dish. So you can go ahead and add more or less. I'm going to take a look and see if I want to add more. All right, guys, I believe we have enough of the crab in here. I will go ahead and add our delicious dressing. ahead and give this a mix guys it looks delicious <laughs> 